Hey, welcome back to the Signature Movement. It's your girl, Tanya D. Floyd. Oh, I got a few minutes on here. Um, I just came back from the eye doctor, the um, retinal specialist, for my follow-up from last month when they numbed my eyeballs and gave me, um, well, I was supposed to have a laser procedure, but I didn't get it then. She said, let's just look and see what happens, right? So what happened was... I went in there today to follow up, and um, I didn't know what was coming. I just thought she was going to use all the little lenses and the drops and the this and that to look again, right? So she did that, but this time she took this little... Okay, from where I'm sitting, looking at it, if it reminded me something of a dental instrument, that little mirror they use to put in your mouth. It was something like, like that. It might be nothing like that, but that's what it looked like to me, right? From, from right here where she had it next to my eyeball, okay? So she put the thing inside my eye socket. It was numb, but still, it's just the thought of it, right? Put the little tool inside my eye socket and had me look in that direction. And she kept looking and she kept looking and she just said, mm. And eventually, after she put a little pressure here and here and did what she had to do, she said, Okay, let's do a little bit of laser. What? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> but no, not really okay. So anyway, took me around the corner to the other room. Had me sign a form. Looked in the thing. She put the same tool in my eye. We were in the room in the dark. Put the other thing in my eye. And then she had her little, it felt like, um, it looked like the same tool she used before, like it's a little tube with a glass in it and like a magnifying glass, but it's, it's, it's weird. Okay. So she looks at that with the other thing, like she's using them to reflect off each other so she can see inside my eye or whatever. And next thing I know, these green lights start flashing. She didn't even give me a warning. We just laser in my eyeball and ain't tell me, okay, go or nothing. Right. <laughs> So the green pulses of light just flashing. And then I start to feel a little tug down here like, mm, you really doing something to my eye? I can feel like it's it's pulling a little teeny bit. I don't really like that, but what can I do? So I'm deep breathing. I remember what I tell the kids all the time. Just take your breaths, take your breaths, calm down. Stomach, try and do some things. You know, I don't have no gallbladder. My stomach just liable to act up any given time. And I can't do nothing about it, okay? So I was breathing and I was singing this dumb song in the back of my head and I was trying to calm down and then she moved to another spot. She was like, almost done. But she moved two more times after she said almost done. I'm like, hey, let's hurry up and get this done. But the little green fireballs pop, pop, pop all in my eye right here. And then she says, okay, all done. And um, I swear to God, for like a good 60 seconds, I couldn't see nothing. Okay. <laughs> Close my right eye to make sure. I'm like, yeah, I'm blind for sure. All the way blind. Can't see nothing. Just black all over the room. She turned the light on and it started to slowly appear. But it was so cloudy and um, like red looking. It was just ugly. I ain't like it. I didn't like any of it. I did not like it. Okay. I did not like it. <laughs> it did not hurt. But I didn't like it. And I came to the realization at that moment... I'm tired of being a gangster. I need somebody to hold my hand sometime. I always got somebody's back. Giving them words of encouragement. Talking them off the ledge. You know, holding their hand over the phone. You got this. Da, 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 da. I, where is my cheerleader? I'm ready for my designated partner to come and hold my hand and be there for me during tough times. Because let me tell you, I've been through a whole lot of situations where I probably should have had somebody. Like that biopsy or this biopsy or this root canal or this laser eye procedure. Just things. When they put me to sleep this time or that time or this time. Yeah, it's too many things. Why I keep going by myself? Like, is it really okay? Just just my natural instinct is just, okay, just go. Why don't I ever think, hmm, take somebody with you? Because who would I take? That's a whole nother conversation. I'm going to have the conversation with myself first, and then I'm going to start thinking about, like, I need, where's my partner? I'm ready. Come get me. So, 
you know, here, here I go. Just come on and get me here. I'm ready. Okay.